This is Matt, and these are the Metal Vinyl Releases for July 2024. Starting with July 7th, expect a compilation album from Swedish black and thrash band Niflheim. This is Unholy Death to be released by Darkness Shall Rise Productions. Vinyl variants will be classic black at 500 copies, silver at 300 copies, and clear black marbled at 200 copies. The last of which comes with a shaped LP size sticker, three postcards, and a coffin certificate signed by Hell Butcher and Tyrant. This last variant will also be a Darkness Shall Rise Productions exclusive. No music videos, but there is a one minute promo sampler of the comp, which you can check out at the Darkness Shall Rise Productions YouTube channel. So given the sampler, it's noisy, dark, ambient, and chaotic, much as you would expect from this band. This is likely going to appeal mostly to fans of the band, but I'll definitely check it out when it drops. Also on July 7th, we'll get the seventh studio album from Indian heavy thrash band Cryptos. This is Decimator, to be released by AFM Records. Final variants will be Classic Black at an unspecified number of copies, as well as Orange at 250 copies, which will be an AFM Records and Cryptos exclusive. Music videos available for Turn Up the Heat as well as Electrify. We also have lyric videos out for Decimator and Sirens of Steel. Of the four, Electrify really stands out with Turn Up the Heat right behind it. Anyways, all of these can be found at the AFM Records YouTube channel. So I know they're branded as heavy thrash, but this sounds a lot more like heavy metal with elements of speed to me, but very heavy metal for the most part. Getting a lot of good energy from them with catchy riffs and lots of soloing, so yeah would enjoy hearing more of this. Moving on to July 12th, look out for the latest live album from Finnish melodic heavy metal band Amorphous. This is Tales from the Thousand Lakes, live at Tavastia, to be released by Raining Phoenix Music. Final variants will be Blue Black Marbled in an unspecified number of copies, as well as Crystal Clear Black Dust at 500 copies, the latter which a Raining Phoenix Music exclusive. Also, live performances of Drowned Maid and Black Winter Day are available. Love both songs, but of the two, you maybe should start with Drowned Maid first. At any rate, you can watch both at the Raining Phoenix Music YouTube channel. So if the video performances are any indicator of the final mix of the live record, then this is certainly well produced and balanced. Thousand Lakes is one of the few amorphous studio albums I actually like, so it's possible to check into this live album at the very least when it comes out. Also on July 12th will be the fourth studio album from American thrash band Blood Feast. This is Infinite Evolution to be released by Hell's Headbangers. Final variants will be Classic Black at 300 copies, Black Green Blue Swirl with White Splatter at 600 copies, and Transparent Red at 200 copies, the last of which will be a High Roller Records exclusive. The music video is available for the track Outbreak as well as an audio clip for Never Will I Die, you can find both of those at the Hell's Headbangers 666 YouTube channel. So, nice to hear this new material from this classic underground thrash band. In fact, I am seeing them live in August, so that should be fun. Anyways, the available material is relentless and classic thrash, with a slight crossover vibe to it. Looking forward to hearing this record, and of course, seeing them live. And also on July 12th, expect the third studio album from French death metal band Skeletal. This is Within Corrosive Continuums, to be released by Hell's Headbangers. Final variants will be Classic Black at 300 copies, Cloudy Orange at 500 copies, and Orange Marbled at 200 copies, the last of which an Osmos Productions exclusive. Audio clips for the tracks Fatal Abstraction and Spectrum of Morbidity are available. You can check those out at, again, the Hell's Headbangers 666 YouTube channel. So, not too bad, particularly good with the solo moments, which are often slowed down amidst the otherwise speed and brutality. Overall, I do need to hear more of this record when it drops to see if it's one to pick up. Moving on to July 19th, we'll get the fifth studio album from Australian technical black death band Werewolves. This is Die For Us, to be released independently. Vinyl variant will be classic black at an unspecified number of copies, though other variants may or may not surface over time. A music video for We All Deserve to Be Slaves, as well as an audio clip for Beaten Back to Life, are available. Both are sufficiently chaotic and pummeling, so much so that it's a little tough to choose between the two. So, maybe check out both at the Werewolves YouTube channel. Anyways, I've heard other material from this band that I have liked, so I should probably stop dragging my feet on them and actually check into this record. Love the humor and the lyrics here as well, so yeah, 
Want to hear more for sure. Moving on to July 26th, look out for the debut studio album from American heavy metal supergroup Category 7. This is Category 7 to be released by Metal Blade Records. So as I said, a bit of a metal supergroup here comprised of members of Armored Saint, Exodus, Overkill, and others. Final variant on this one will be Storm Surge at 700 copies, as well as another variant called Sable Smoke at 300 copies. Music videos are available for the tracks In Stitches and Exhausted. Both tracks have killer vocals from John Bush, as well as cool trade-offs between guitarists Phil Demmel and Mike Orlando. Currently, I lean more towards the track In Stitches, so maybe check that one out first. But, you know, maybe check out both at the Metal Blade Records YouTube channel. So there are definitely elements here of these musicians' core bands. I'm hearing hints of overkill here and there, but generally a sort of ramped-up armored saint given Bush's signature vocals. Again, I dig that lead track, but I need more in order to make a decision. Also on July 26 will be the latest live album from American metal band Metal Church. This is the final sermon live in Japan 2019 to be released by Reaper Entertainment. So this is one of the final recorded performances of Mike Howe with Metal Church, which took place over two nights at Club Sita in Kawasaki, Japan, during their 2019 Damned If You Do tour. Anyways, final variants on this one will be Classic Black in an unspecified number of copies, Red with Splatter also in an unspecified number of copies, Volcanic Orange at 200 copies, Midnight Purple at 200 copies, and Orange with Black Marble at 100 copies. There will also be a metal framed box set for this title, uh, the actual box set can be framed on the wall, which is kind of interesting. Also included will be an exclusive magazine with many photos from Mike Howe's career, the vinyl in orange-black marbled, a CD of the album, a lanyard, and a certificate. The box set will be limited to 500 copies. An audio clip for the live version of Fake Healer is available. Great live version, but it's also one of my favorite Metal Church songs, so maybe a little bias here. Anyways, listen to the song at the Reaper Entertainment YouTube channel. So 14 tracks on the vinyl version, eight of which from the classic era. Already have a live album from the band with David Wayne on vocals, so I'd definitely like one with Howe since he was such an amazing singer. Anyways, I might get this. And of course, rest in peace, Mike Howe. And also on July 26th, expect the fifth studio album from American power metal band Iron Flame. This is Kingdom Torn Asunder to be released by High Roller Records. Final variants will be Classic Black at 300 copies, as well as Galaxy Effect at 400 copies. An audio track is available for Soul Survivors. You can find that at the Drew Manchu YouTube channel. Great name, by the way. Anyways, the lead track is absolutely well produced and up to the power metal standards of this band, which are often set quite high. Excited to hear more of this record when it comes out. Also, killer live band. Do not miss them when they hit your town. And also on July 26th, we'll get the second studio album from American heavy thrash band Vernie. This is Dreadful Company to be released by M Theory Audio. So D.D. Vernie, bassist for Overkill here, putting out his second solo album, just in case you didn't know who's behind this. Anyways, vinyl variants will be Classic Black as well as Black White Marbled, both in an unspecified number of copies. Also, a lyric video is available for the track Lunkhead. As you might expect from Vernie's first album, this is also kind of steeped in punk, albeit almost skirting into pop-punk territory. It's a bit thrashy, but also catchy in that way. Anyways, you can check that out at the M Theory Audio YouTube channel. So the lead track is fine, it's not entirely grabbing me. Need to hear more because I did like the first album, and I am a pretty big fan of this guy as a bass player, so yeah, we'll see when the record drops. As for reissues on vinyl, out now is the Carnival Bazaar from Cathedral on three vinyl variants by Earache Records. On July 12th, we'll see the vinyl reissues of The Legacy and The New Order by Testament, both remastered and released by Nuclear Blast. On July 19th, there'll be three reissues from Manowar, Fighting the World, Kings of Metal, and Triumph of Steel, all on blue vinyl by Listenable Records. On July 19th, there'll be Siren Charms, Lunar Strain, Soundtrack to Your Escape, and Colony from In Flames, released by Nuclear Blast. And on July 26th, we'll see a reissue of Warlords and the Canons of Destruction and Begun album on Picture Disc, released by High Roller Records. So not as chocked full of great releases as other months this year, but some good titles nonetheless. Looking especially at the Metal Church live album, as well as that Iron Flame studio release, but how about you? Let me know which albums you're going to get, whether I mention them here or not, as well as anything else that comes to mind in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. 
Of course, if you dig this video, feel free to give it a like, but also maybe share it. Also, if you've never subscribed to my channel before, I would definitely appreciate it if you did. And of course, if you're new to the channel, just so you know, my name is Matt. This is the Accusation Network, where each and every week I do videos on metal vinyl collecting, but also classic and modern metal in general. Definitely check out all my playlists. I do over a dozen shows in and around these subjects. I think you'll dig them. And as always, thank you for watching, and check back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.